believe you almost had me bring a wild animal into my home. No one told you to poke the turtle's face. I was playing, got your nose. That's how you get children to like you. I'm surprised you even care if he likes you since you're planning on leaving the planet the first chance you get. This again, Amy. I've already had one new hole torn in my body today. I don't need another one. You know, Sheldon, I know the odds of you even going to Mars are incredibly small, but it still hurts that you would volunteer for something that would take you away from me forever. So you're saying you wouldn't leave me for the chance to be one of the first humans to colonize another planet? I would at least mention it before filling out the application. Huh. That's exactly what Leonard Wallowitz, Cuther Polly, Bernadette, and Penny said. And who says you could even survive an interplanetary mission anyway? You could barely survive a tiny turtle bite. First of all, this has only made me stronger. <laughs> but beyond that, all I did was fill out an application. You know what? Go to Mars, Sheldon. Is there anything I can do to cheer you up? No, forget it. What if I play the Star Trek theme on my nose? Please don't. <laughs> yep, you're mad. Okay, let me see the damage. Hang on. Mm. Well, I think you broke the dowels. You're not gonna have time to glue it back on. You'll have to nail it. With what? Does she have any pillows or wine glasses? She does. Neither of those. Try a hammer! Did that feel good? You feel like a big man now? I was going to make you red zinger, but since Mars is the red planet, I went with peppermint. Why do you even want to do this? Actually, as part of the application, I was required to make a short video answering that very question. You want to see it? Can you just tell me? But I made a video. <laughs> I'm Dr. Shelton Cooper, and I'd like to tell you why I should be chosen to... Go to Mars! <laughs> I'm exceedingly smart. I graduated college at 14. While my brother was getting an STD, I was getting a PhD. <laughs> Penicillin can't take this away. Being in close quarters, cleanliness is important. <laughs> my hygiene is impeccable. In fact, animals don't trust me because I smell like nothing. Yet, literally nothing. <laughs> During the seven-month space flight, I can keep up morale with my wacky sense of humor. <laughs> hey, Leonard, is there any peanut brittle left in that can? You mean this weirdly suspicious one? Yes. You open it and check. I don't get it. There's actually peanut brittle. <laughs> Please go to Mars. <laughs>